Hey everyone, I am Nadia Struijwig and I'm a producer, sound designer and a live performer from the Netherlands. And I am always on the lookout for new plugins or new hardware to enhance my music productions and to find my sound. Today we're diving into the Note tool, which is from Reason Studios, and I am going to combine it with one of my pieces of gear and show you how it works. So let's dive in. Alrighty, let's dive into the Note tool. As you can see, I already have a, a little keyboard here. Um, then I'm using a DAW, and within this DAW I'm using the Reason Rack. So I'm using in this little gem, I am going to do the polytone, the dual synthesizer, and I want to create like ambient. Um, the coolest thing of what I'm using on top of it is the note tool. As I have such a tiny keyboard, there is no way for me to easily go into the ne next octave. So within this tool, it's possible. And I really like it because it's, it's also teaching me so much on where I am in my skill. Right now, if I am playing, you can already see in the first section the filter that you can see that in this range, the pitch range that I can find here in the little section is playing all these notes just normally. So if I am going into, for example, the notes that are not played, they will be stopped, so I, I can't even like do anything in here. So it only fetches the notes that are in between this, uh, these little arrows, you can see it here. So you can also like change then the pitch of these notes. So imagine we are like back in here, you can see this little blinking light. I can change the offset of the pitch, but I also can change the octaves. I can change the note length. And that's also really helpful for me because sometimes I'm already thinking about the next idea and then I can just push it into my keyboard. Then I can do restrict poly. So imagine you only have the high note that you want to hear in poly. So that one is then lasting longer. Now, for example, what you can do as well, like I'm just choosing now like a preset, but like imagine I have this, I can go, for example, the red note is going directly out, but then the other note will be go, going into the adjustment section. And I basically can change the offset of the pitch or create a different octave. So I, I really like it and I feel like whenever you work with a smaller keyboard, this could be perfect. So let's just record some ambient, shall we? So for the rest of the video, I am jamming and I'm jamming with the polytone and the note tool and some effects in the reason rack. And I am using the note tool basically to see where my skill is at and I'm using the latch function as well. And to be completely honest, I am using a lot of times hardware myself that have similar functions as the note tool has. So I would see this tool mainly for people that have limited access to hardware and, and are working, for example, with smaller keyboards. So I hope you enjoy the gem.
So thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some inspiration out of it. And I would love to hear your thoughts. And I hope you make something really cool out of it. Hope to see you next time. Bye.